We knew coming into Temple's game against Fordham that Connor Raleigh was not going to get the start. However, if you would have told me that the Owls would trot out three quarterbacks against Fordham, I would have said that you were crazy. But that's just how it played out during Saturday's mess. Welcome back to the show. Inside McGonagall Hall we go. Al start off crisp and in rhythm. Bump, set, serve, just how you draw it up. And Gabrielle Matuatia finishes it off. Moments later, an almost identical look. A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. The vicious spike zips by a diving defender. Mustangs would hang tough like they have all season as the Owls' quest for a sweep would get denied there. Fast forward to the third set, SMU looking to mount a comeback, but Kirsten Overton climbs the ladder and blocks the spike to end it. Chalk up the dub, Temple wins its third straight, moving to 13 and four on the year with the three sets to one victory. In 2012, the Temple volleyball team returned to its winning ways under head coach Bakir Ghanis. The Owls were named the most improved team in Division I, finishing 19-11 and after winning just eight matches the year before. Now in 2013, the Cherry and White is continuing to feed off this momentum as the Owls are off to their best start since 2006. This includes a win on Wednesday night at the New Jersey Institute of Technology, three sets to two. To the Sunday game on a gorgeous day in Ambler, I can smell the fresh cut grass from here. Eight minutes into the game, the freshman Stefan Mueller comes up with the steal, kicks it to Vaughn Spurrier, who nets a beautiful goal to the top right corner. What a snipe. Even his teammates cannot believe the power and precision he put behind that score. It's time to celebrate. And then after a Jared Martinelli cross into the box, Spurrier finds the ball again, but pride goalie Roberto Pellegrini dives to his right there and makes the stop. Temple goalie Dan Sheck tallied four saves on the afternoon and recorded his third consecutive clean sheet of the season. There's still another half to play. Martinelli places a beautiful corner kick to freshman defender Robert Chagall, who utilizes his dome piece and heads it in for his first collegiate score. Well, I guess there's no such thing as silent treatment in soccer. Hofstra tries to get back in the game, but Sheck was a monster in between the pipes, and his defense played tough in front of him. Owls take this one by a score of 2-0. Walking away from the game is never easy for any athlete, but one former Al has found a way to stay closer to her team than she ever could have imagined. For more on the story, we bring back updates Kalia Lutz. Kalia, what you got? Temple's new conference opponent, the University of Central Florida, took on an old conference foe, Akron, this past weekend, and UCF wastes no time getting started. Brashad Perriman takes the first play from scrimmage, 91 yards for a touchdown. The Knights showing it on the defensive end, too, holding Akron to 74 yards and no points in the first half. It's just too easy. Rennell Hall corrals this one and takes it to the pay dirt, and the American Conference again cruising smooth with the top down. Blake Bortles doing a little shake and bake to avoid the rush before throwing a dart to the end zone. Akron would muster a fourth quarter score, but it was too little too late as the Zips fall 38-7. After getting a sniff of what it's like to be a championship caliber team and advancing to the Atlantic 10 semifinals a year ago, the field hockey team debuted as a member in the Big East Conference. The field hockey team is nationally ranked this season for the first time in 12 years. Last week at number 11, this week at number 14, one person to thank is Amber Yutz, who was named the Big East Offensive Player of the Week. Taking it to Geezy Field where the Owls were all over Monmouth early and often, Amber Yutz taking the feed from Lauren Hunt and putting it through the five hole for the goal. Later, a Monmouth shot from the top circle is turned away by goalkeeper Lizzie Millen. She had four saves on the day. Look at Yutz, waiting, waiting, goal! She lights the red lamp. Katie Ferran with the dirty work, Yutz finishes it off. Don't call her selfish though. Amber hooks up with Alyssa Delt for the third goal of the game to start off the second half. Yutz saving the best for last, getting this sliding shot to go. What a beauty. She had four of Temple's six goals as the Owls roll six to nothing. 